News 18. Weather from where you live. Well, we're looking west out of downtown Lafayette. Notice these little puffy fair weather cumulus clouds and this little line of high clouds. Those are the tops of a few little thunderstorms in Illinois, but they're staying in Illinois. And if we get anything to pop this evening, it would be extremely isolated. You can see a couple of those over here in parts of Illinois. Otherwise, these are heat advisories. These are starting to blossom as a pretty large heat wave develops in the eastern U.S. and really much of the U.S. is going to be quite hot and humid over this week. So get used to one, the heat and perhaps maybe a heat advisory issued for parts of the Midwest. And also just like this, just a couple little spotty storms from time to time, just popping up like popcorn in the heating of the afternoon around here. We've cooled off to 80 at the station. We hit a high of 91 today. It's 90 Monticello. Mary Ann's got 88 at her weather station in Remington. And it's 88 degrees at Burlington. And the heat index varies from 93 at the Cass County Airport, 97 at the Fulton County Airport to 96 degrees here at the station and 100 at Attica. So five consecutive days at or above 90. Haven't had that since July 30th through August 4th of last year with just a few widely scattered, just little spotty storms each and every day. A lot of you are going to stay dry. A few of you may get a quick downpour, but more organized, widespread storms will move in. It appears a Friday night into Saturday morning. Some of those could be severe, followed by a bit cooler and less humid air coming in. Tonight, muggy, right around 70, a few patches of fog here and there. Tomorrow, everybody's in the 90s, low 90s that is from 94 at Covington to 92 Lafayette, 92 at Logansport and the heat index 100 to a size 105. It's the same thing Wednesday, perhaps just a hair warmer. Everybody about 92 to about 94 degrees. A little cut off upper low moving westward down to the south. But what it's doing, pulling all the tropical moisture northward and just the real uncomfortable oppressive heat. So that's what will pop a couple storms here and you can see these little pops from time to time with that tropical flow from the Caribbean and the Gulf of Mexico. But the main jets way north. Everybody's hot and it's going to take a little jet stream change to bring widespread storms in here and cool it off a little bit. This is tomorrow at 2 p.m. This is four and five. A few little spotty storms popping up here and there. But the main aspect of this forecast for late in the week, cold front drops in, more organized storms Friday night, Saturday morning. And those may have a little severe weather with them. Main threat being damaging winds. We'll keep an eye on it. If the front slows down, it would come through on Saturday rather than Friday. Notice the 90s, not only today, but it's going to be that way right through Friday with a couple spotty storms from time to time. Overnight lows in the 70s, and then it cools off a little bit. 84 on Sunday and an overnight low 59. So that 59 will feel good after overnight lows some nights in the mid 70s. Well, we had a nice little break from the air conditioner bill, didn't we? <laughs> we did, and now this week we're, we're, we're paying for it. Yes, we will. Yes, right.